Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool uh, that we're testing on the EaVision J150. And that is faster flight speeds in conjunction with long ferry distances. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a screen recording of this flight here and talk about some of the reasons why we're testing this and why it's important. Uh, okay, so in terms of our parameters, running a two gallon per acre, 55 feet per second, 12 foot high. Um, our ferry uh, in and out flights are 58 feet per second um, with a bit um, higher entry and exit, 40 feet entry, 60 feet exit because we're flying over some trees in and out and 32 foot route spacing. You might run uh, longer routes or wider route spacing on your JOM50. It can do it, but wanted to see what it would do at a narrower route spacing. Okay, so drone took off there. Pay attention to the time down here. You guys can replay this if you want to see the time. All right, there we're at uh, 2,700 feet to our start point. That is a half mile ferry distance. So if you cannot get any closer than a half mile to the field, this is what you'll be looking at and you'll be ferrying out a half mile to the start point. Uh, you can see actually we're losing connection as we get down here behind these trees uh, because it's reading through uh, the hill as it drops down um, and it's reading through the trees um, and we regain connection somewhere out here in the middle of the field. Okay, um, so there you can see the, the distance, the speed, the height on the bottom left and our battery life up on the top. So we stop spraying, we have about 35% left in the drone, we stop spraying, it goes up at 60 feet high, returns back at about uh, 58 feet per second, uh, actually a little bit over a half mile to get back. Then it lands with 26% battery and had sprayed about 8.7 acres. Now I put this battery in the charger right here as the time frame, put it in the charger. Um, and I'm connecting to the charger with the remote so you can see the charge level on the drone as it charges um, right there. Because I wanted to see how quickly it would charge the battery because it's not just about how many acres per hour you can do or per flight you can do, uh, but also how many acres you can do before you need to wait for your batteries to charge. If you're running with three batteries, uh, then what? how long can you operate? So right there, I timed it all the way out to 100% right there it's about 1940. so i took those numbers put them in here and you can see we took off uh, with four at 40 seconds on the video it landed at 8 40 uh, with 25 percent battery so it's an eight minute flight uh, you add about a minute to a minute and a half for ground time meaning your cycle time is between nine and nine and a half minutes whenever you're refilling the tank swapping the battery getting it back up there that'd be your takeoff to takeoff time so first takeoff to second takeoff second takeoff to third takeoff. That's with a half mile ferry in between each of these. 55 feet per second, we'll talk about that here in a minute. But that puts our efficiency, if you're doing half mile ferries with these parameters, between 54 and 57 acres per hour, including ground time. Now our battery charged in 10 minutes, so I put it in 19 or 940, took it out 100% at 1940. So it's a 10 minute charge from 25% to 100% which means about uh, a minute of lag time. If your ground time is nine minutes and your cycle time on your charger is 10 minutes to charge a battery uh, for that flight, that means you lose a minute per cycle. Now, if you start with three fully charged batteries and you lose a minute per battery charge cycle, then you can operate uh, 15 to 20 charge cycles before you need to wait uh, for about 20 to 30 minutes to catch up, you know, let your batteries charge, all of them, all three of them and catch back up. That equals uh, about two to three hours of runtime before having to take that break, which is 110 to 160 acres. Pretty good for ferrying out a half mile and back a half mile. Uh, and if you can cover those acres uh, in the, that time frame without having to take a break, that's true operational efficiency, even in very challenging scenarios, which is ferrying out a half mile or longer. Uh, okay, now a few caveats here. So 55 feet per second. Yes, that flight speed is not available um, commercially just yet. We are beta testing uh, firmware. Uh, we are operating Joe and 50 at up to 66 feet per second or 45 miles per hour. It, I can tell you it does operate at that speed. It does still terrain follow at that speed. Uh, but the tuning on some of the turning uh, coming into the end of the, the rows, uh, needs tuned better for that speed. Uh, it is not tuned for that speed just yet. Uh, so we will be releasing faster flight speeds, 
Uh, it is tuned at 55 feet per second right now. It seems to be working just fine. Uh, we will be doing a bit more testing uh, on faster flight speed before uh, we have EAV release this um, to you know commercial uh, end users. Um, and then on charge cycles. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you you've saw me say that we pull our batteries uh, between 95 and 100 percent to keep up uh, on, with a one to one charge to flight time ratio. Yes, we do that only if we're not ferrying out a half mile. If we're ferrying out a half mile, you want to start with a 100 percent fully charged battery, which is why the lag right here is important to understand. If you're pretty new to drones, then battery charging, especially with these big drones, is very important. You might hear that, well, you only need three batteries, one charger to keep up with any operation. And some drones, that's true. But the more I talk to more operators uh, with, you know, who've operated drones in the past, they are saying, well, we need, we're running four batteries or two chargers per drone or a charger and a half per drone. Uh, with the J150, you can run three batteries and one charger in almost every single scenario, um, which is what we are, are working to prove uh, right here. Okay, so this is an overview of that flight right here from the top. So you can see pretty long uh, ferry flights back and forth. This field length was about 1,500 feet. Uh, so the total flight distance uh, was about two, uh, about 2.2 miles in terms of uh, what it sprayed. The total spraying distance uh, was about 2.2 miles, meaning, yes, you can ferry out a half mile and you can spray a half mile run uh, with two down back passes. Uh, pretty cool stuff, especially with field access issues. Uh, if you guys haven't run drones, uh, very much, or if you guys are blessed with not having any field access issues, then not something you ever have to worry about. But if you do, it's nice to know that you're, there's a drone that you don't have to worry about that being an issue. I remember, um, you know, back when we were running other drones that had, you know, not as much, you know, reserve on the battery life, then you would have to run a half a tank. Um, and that would cut your efficiency, not just because of your ferry distance, but because you can only run half a tank. So hope this was helpful. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.